In this episode, we will guide you through the highly anticipated new region, Aiden. Aiden is the largest region in the world of Lineage W. As such, Aiden is not only a region expansion, but it includes a variety of other content for new adventures. After the update, players will get to follow the storyline revolving around the character Laius, who you've probably seen as an epic morph. To prepare for the new adventure, let's take a closer look at the main fields and dungeons of Aiden. First on the list is Aiden Farm, which has the lowest difficulty level among the fields in Aiden. This is where the oppressed and deprived live as rebels dreaming of a revolution. It is also where the boss monster, Black Tiger Champawat, appears. Black Tiger Champawat has the characteristics of attacking other common monsters nearby. It can also use a wide area skill, which can push you back with a powerful blow. So please stay alert for this skill. When you defeat Champawat, you can obtain Black Tiger's molar belt and Black Tiger's leather cloak. The second field is the Forest of Mirrors. It is a mysterious forest with a layer of fog, but there's a rumor spreading around travelers that they've seen someone that looks just like themselves in the forest. With perfect symmetry centered around the heart of the mirror, Forest of Mirrors gives you a strange vibe where golems and doppelgangers created by the magical power of the forest attack anyone who dares to enter. Damage monsters are found in this forest, so please be prepared in case your weapon is damaged while hunting. In addition, Boss Elkaria the Forgotten appears in this forest, using debuff skills that have never been seen from previous bosses. So please be aware as it can affect the entire forces when debuff skill is casted, and may luck be on your side. When you defeat Alcaria, you can obtain Alcaria's necklace and Alcaria's ring. Next on the list is Forest of Light and Shadow, a field with a beautiful scenery made of trees and vines. However, it is a dangerous place where the kins of darkness have settled, like the shadow of the forest precariously coexisting with the fairies above ground. In Forest of Light and Shadow, there are many densely populated areas with monsters, making it an effective hunting ground. In addition, boss terrorizer Marisha appears in this forest. Marisha uses arrows that even the most experienced assassins cannot avoid, along with various other skills. When you defeat Marisha, you can obtain Tainted Longbow, Tainted Gators, and Tainted Helm. Garden of Lost Spring is a field distinguished by its three large cherry blossom trees. However, it's been a long time since anyone has visited due to the powerful monsters. Monsters in this field will attack with poison, so be sure to have your antidotes in hand. In addition, the boss Punisher Ramashu appears in this field, attacking players with various debuff skills. Please note that if you get caught in debuff, your attacks and movements will be restricted. When you defeat Ramishu, you can obtain Lightning God's Sword and Angel Staff. Last on the list is the field Giant's Canyon. This is where the giants that are driven out to the outskirts live. The royal family of Aiden feeds the rebels who dare to stand against the royal family to the giants to keep them in place. As scary as the story suggests, Powerful common monsters appear in this field, so high attack speed and stats are required to inflict much damage. As difficult as the field is, you can gain a lot of experience, so look forward to this field. Aiden Castle may look extravagant and peaceful from the outside, but underneath is a dungeon where dark human affairs take place. This is the Aiden Castle Underground Prison. You can enter the Aiden Castle Underground Prison through the Dungeon UI, or the portal in Aiden Castle Village. Aiden Castle Underground Prison is a dungeon where undeads appear on all floors, and undead extra damage is applied to them. The first floor is where all those who oppose the Aiden family are imprisoned for life. It consists of maze-like complex structures and dimmed lighting, where prisoner monsters appear. 
The second floor has an even darker atmosphere than the first. It is where the souls of those who were unfortunately sacrificed for the nobles' parties wander around. The second floor consists of high and low terrains and complex structures where powerful wraith monsters appear. Next is the third floor, the last dungeon of the Aiden Castle underground prison. The third floor has a relatively simple terrain compared to the first and the second floors. This is where secret banquets are held for the nobles, and prison guard monsters guarding to keep the secret appear here. In addition, the main figure of the Aiden Castle underground prison, Boss Black Revenant Lias, appears on this floor. This powerful boss uses different patterns of debuffs, but when defeated, you can obtain Black Revenant's two-handed sword and other Black Revenant's armors, so be prepared. This concludes our guide on Aiden, and we hope you'll get to strengthen your character with the new adventures coming to Aiden.